what is up everybody we are back and today is handyman horror story day i know not a video any handyman wants to have to make um we have been on a roll lately things have been going great and i get a phone call yesterday from my technician that he has been in a car accident he was at a red light when he got rear-ended and then as a cause of being rear-ended hit the car in front of him so um, I get that phone call um, I, I jump in my truck I start heading that way I get to the scene to find out that my technician has handled the situation perfectly um, the police officers are already on scene everything is in motion all they need from me is the insurance for the vehicle which I believed was in the vehicle but with all the commotion we, we just couldn't find it which is um on me i need to make it in a, in a spot that's better to, for him to access so i tell the police officer you know no big deal i can pull up my app and, and show you our proof of insurance well i go to pull up that app and it shows my auto and then it shows my commercial auto and it says commercial auto unavailable and i start thinking to myself oh my gosh did i did i forget to pay the bill is there some reason that they would have you know turned off my commercial auto policy like unbelievable this this would be happening now so i walk away from the incident and i make a phone call to progressive and my heart's pounding i'm like please don't tell me that i forgot to pay the bill i, I know that i paid the bill last week actually so i get on the phone with the guy and he says no you're you're completely active actually next month is your last payment i'll send you over proof of insurance so um, that was great. I got them the proof of insurance and then I wanted to go over to the vehicle that Kyle actually hit after he was rear-ended. Um, it, was, uh, it was an elderly couple. So I get to the vehicle and they're already telling me, hey, everything is okay. We're okay. Your technician, he, the first thing he did was get out of his truck and come to us and make sure that we are okay. They said he, he was a, a very nice about it. He was very concerned for us and um, made sure that the whole scene got over to the side of the road in a safe manner. So I was extremely proud of him for that. Um, I expected him to do to do that, but you know, whenever your, your team steps up and handles a tough situation like that um, in the correct manner, you're, you're always very, very proud of that. So I ended up giving them one of our cards. I said, I know, however, we're not at fault. Um, if there's anything that you need from us during this process, Feel free to reach out. I'm very sorry, and and this is unfortunate that this happened today. And they said, "Yeah, you know, uh, Kyle's gonna be sore tomorrow. He's gonna probably need the day off." And, and I'm smiling, and it was it was a very nice gesture for them to be concerned about Kyle. And um, so so where has that left us? That's left us with a banged up work vehicle. The back of the truck is um, basically destroyed. The front of the truck is pretty banged up. I don't believe there's any structural damage or um, damage to the mechanical systems or, or the engine or anything like that. I think it's all cosmetic, but with the age of the truck and the mileage, it's possible that they'll total it. I'm really hoping that they don't total it, that they pay to fix it because I've had this truck for almost 10 years. I've taken really good care of it. The engine and the transmission on that vehicle, it has a lot more life in it. And anytime you go to buy a used vehicle, you just don't know what you're going to get. So I'm really hoping that they don't total it. We'll find out more today when the um, insurance adjuster reaches out to us and we'll go through that whole process. But I just wanted to jump on here and, and share that situation and share kind of how I handled it. And uh, when I was driving up there, I, I stayed as, as calm as I could. I remembered that the most important thing is everybody's safety. And once everybody's safe, then we can worry about the cosmetic damage and things like that. So um, today, Kyle's going to call me first thing in the morning when he gets up. Um, I'm tentative to, to keep him home for the day, but we'll have to see how he's feeling. Um, he felt fine yesterday. So if he still feels fine, we're going to create an incident report. Um, we've documented everything and then we'll return to work. And I'll probably work with him today just to ensure that uh, he has a little bit of a lighter day. But I'm um, very proud of my team overall. I'm very proud of, of how the situation was handled um, by myself and also by my technician. And 
we'll just go through the motions, go through the process and hopefully start to get our vehicles fixed soon. So just wanted to share that with you guys today. Like always, like this video so other people can find it. Leave me a comment of some ways that you've dealt with difficult situations as a business owner. I'm not sure if I told you guys on the last video, but I did get out to a small counseling center within my community that does um, family counseling. And I donated $100 to their staff. They were very appreciative to go out and get lunch or coffee or whatever they wanted to do for their staff. So that did happen. So we're at 400 and something subscribers. Let's get to 500 subscribers and I will go out and donate another $100 to an organization within my community that does good. Hopefully you guys can give me the suggestion of who to go and donate that $100 to when the time is right. So like always, click that like button, hit subscribe. Thanks y'all.